What's going on guys? Welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome back to another episode of Player Rings. It's the last Premier League game of the season. It's Leicester versus Chelsea and it has finished 0-0. Somehow creeped into third place because Spurs have bottled it yet again. I'm here with Ian. Oh, shit game, but let's go through the reins. Willy Caballero, thoughts on him? I don't make a couple of good stops. Um... Nothing fancy. We'd we'll probably give him something like a six. Never really tested. No, not really. He had like, he had the one I think it was in the first half, which went uh, which went goalward that he just kept with both hands. That's really it. it didn't really do a lot um, distribution wise. I think that's just I mean that's just me not liking the way Chelsea play. I think rather than that being a problem for him. But no, I th I, th I think a six, six maybe a seven's fair. Uh, let's move on to Zappa Costa now. Um, handled his space pretty well, but yeah. I thought. End product just wasn't there from too many poor low crosses into the box. I think he's back in form. Um, I, 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 I'm a big fan of him. I like the fact that he got outside. I like the fact that he um, he caused problems almost for Leicester. It just yeah, you are right. The final ball was not there. I think probably again. I think a, I think a five or a six. I think for him, he did well in some aspects. But when you've got no final ball, you can't have any more than a six at least. All right, calm six for Zappa. As for Equator now. I thought he was a bit more composing at centre back role. I like him as a centre half. Uh, I think he's very good, and I think he's actually I think he's a better centre half than he is a right back. However, his height is a problem. Um, but regardless of that, I thought he did very well today. Um, kept a clean sheet. Um, uh, kept uh, Vardy and Madison out, which is a big, big threat. Um, I, I'd probably give him a six again. I think this is going to be quite a familiar number for this thing. But six, maybe a seven. Um, actually, no, I'm going to give him a seven because. It, it, it's not a natural position for him, and he played very well, and, and he did. And, and Luis, I imagine, sometimes isn't the easiest person to play beside. Um, no, but I, I, th I think he did. I think he did very well. So I'll, I'll give him a seven. All right, moving on to Luis now. I didn't even for Luis. If it weren't for that stupid mistake in the first half with Vardy that nearly conceded the first goal, it wouldn't have been a terrible performance from him. But yet another Luis mistake. Yeah, and for that five. Um, Middle of the road, again, from him, but the one mistake lets him down. Uh, it, it's a shame, because I like Luis, and obviously we've signed him for the big extension and whatever for two years, which I think has divided a few opinions. I like it, to be honest with you, because I, I think it gives us room to play with as well. Um, but, yeah, no, you are, you are right. The big mistake was costly. Um, and be honest with you, should have led to 1-0. It was only because Vardy, I don't know what he, he was doing. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He, he, he tried to pass it. He tried to do everything. It just was not right at all. Um, and he didn't get it. It, it, it. it just we should have been one nil down, and because of that, and it would have been Luis's fault. It would have. Um, so for that, middle of the road five done. Uh, uh, Marcus Alonso. We've seen worse performances from him, but there were still too many times where he just lost the ball. It is, and it is no end product either. Four. I. I I, I, he doesn't really offer anything for us, to be honest with you, anymore. He does not offer anything. Um, he's all right. He loses the ball too many times. He, he wants to get forward, which I respect. I do. But he then becomes more of a problem, actually, when he gets forward. He shuts down space. Um, and I think, actually, he should try and get forward into those in those really advanced positions. I think he should try and get there when the ball's on the right hand side so he can mop one up he can get one round the back post and edit in other than that i don't think he should be up there truthfully not as much four from him today i think for me i i, I think that's fair didn't offer a great deal didn't didn't really do anything he, he, he probably caused more negatives than positives to be honest with you uh, uh ross barkley now I don't think he had a lot of impact today, but I think he had a pretty solid game. I don't think he did much wrong. Yeah, I think a seven or an eight is fair for that. Um, can't be, <laughs> can't be any more because we didn't. You are right. There was no creativity. There was no anything. But he was solid in what he did. Yeah. Um, uh, he didn't cause any massive problems. Um, it's not as if he gave away anything or led uh, one big mistake or anything. I, I think it's fair to probably give him a seven. I think maybe even an eight. Um, he played ninety minutes. Did well. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm happy with it. I am happy with what he's done. Because um, when we first got him, we didn't know what the, what the case was going to be. Um, and in a game like this, where it was a bit tough, I think what happened at eight is fair. Right, um, Jorginho. Now, I, I say it's a bit of a quieter game for him too. 
A couple of misplaced passes from him as well, but again, I'm not really going to call it a bad performance. No, neither. Uh, I've been a big critic of him. Um, he gave away, I was talking to Louis actually uh, during the game, he gave away a free kick uh, quite early on, edge of the box, but it actually showed that he wanted to make the tackle, uh, which I respect that big time. Um, I, you know, I'll be honest, I struggle to give him a rate, and I think middle of the road, five, I think again. Um, definitely not his best game, definitely not his worst. Um, yeah, it's <coughs> middle, uh, middle of the road, re real middle of the road game from him. Uh, moving on to Loftus Street now, personal man of the match for me. I thought he had yet another great game. Most of the attacks were being pushed through him. He was the one driving the ball forward yet again, continuing to develop well. Yeah, uh, and, I'd, and I'd say an eight. Um, Loftus Street is great going forward. I think defensively he's got some stuff to work on. Um, and I don't think he's a finished article yet. And people are giving him comparisons, comparisons to Balak and other, all these things. I, I, Lewis and Balak. Yeah, it, no, <laughs> no. Um, he, he, he could be if he wants to. He's got the world at his feet. But uh, he is he is nowhere near the finished article yet. But you are right. Attacks are going through him. Um, I think, to be honest with you, I think both wingers that we had at the start of the game were poor. So I think the creativity had to come through him. Uh, and I think that he relished that opportunity. Uh, so I'll give him an eight. Uh, and I think I'll be with you on saying that he was my man of the match. Definitely my Chelsea man of the match anyway. Right, uh, moving on to Pedro now. So yeah, another poor game for him. No impact from him. Lost the ball countless times. Kelled onto the ball for too long. You know that little thing he does where he likes to continuously dribble through yeah. players when there's like 20 yards of space? Saw that yet again today. Not a good performance from him. Crap. Um, and from William as well, both the same thing. Um, both of them are better coming off the bench. Both of them are better coming off the bench. Uh, and I think the one thing that we need to identify with that is that realistically, if all had gone all right and Hudson Odoi hadn't got his injury, both of these players, William and Pedro, I think would have been subs in the first 11. I think Hudson Odoi would have kicked on. Um, so for a half an hour impact, Pedro is probably a great player. But from the start, I think he's poor. I do. And I think William is the same thing as well. They have ideas. Chilwell, he was up against a decent fullback, to be fair. But there's also opportunities where he goes forward and Pedro can get and exploit the space and he didn't exploit it. He didn't make anything of it. Um, four. Uh, no, three, I think, truthfully. It's just... The problem with him is he's got that kind of that aura about him that he is a danger, he is a threat. But they just don't make it count at all. So what's the point of having the threat? You know what I mean? And, uh, and it's that is the balance between the two. What he should promise and what he does promise and what he then delivers are three completely different things. Um, and I think teams that worry about him and go, oh, Christ, it's Pedro, um, yeah, aren't necessarily as clued up as maybe we are who watch him every week uh, and see what he does on a regular basis. Yeah, I hear that. Let's move on to William now. I don't think he was as bad as Pedro today, but still, again, not the impact we wanted. Four. Slightly better than Pedro. Again, you are... Yeah, it's the same thing. I could say the same thing. I think they're both better off coming off the bench. Um, I think William's too comfortable uh, at Chelsea, and I think that's for a handful of the reasons. He's a good player. Look, he is a good player, and we all know what he can produce, but he's struggling to do it in the Premier League. Uh, and against a team like Leicester, now I'm not going to lie, Leicester, they're a decent enough team, but he should be producing something against the likes of a Leicester. And then in the big games, he should be maybe performing as this, and maybe as he did today, against the cities and the whatever. And the teams that cause you big problems defensively and actually give you a, a good battle. But Leicester, they are mid-table, good side, but not the same level as a city. Uh, and that's kind of how I felt William played today. He was almost as like he wanted to be up against one of the big boys. That was almost how he performed, is the fact that actually the people that were marking him just got a, just had a field day, really, just going, he ain't going to bother us. We'll just sit here and do what we need to do and we'll worry about what we need to do rather than what he's doing. He's not as much of a threat as he once was. Um, he's done a lot for Chelsea, but I'll be honest with you, if summer come round, I think I'd move him on. Um, thanks for everything, yes, fine, but uh, today and a handful of other games as well, it just ain't good enough anymore. It's not, uh, and, and I do, I hate to say it because I do love him, I think he's a great player, but it's just inconsistency now, uh, or inconsistency now, I should, I should say, sorry. Um, yeah, and, and, and it, it's just time, I hate to say it, it's time. 
Right, uh, let's go on to the last player, Higuain. Now, it's between him or Pedro for the worst player for me. Higuain had that open goal miss just before the end of the first half. There was plenty of chances where he could have pressed players and he didn't. There was no sharpness from him. There was no energy. There was no willing to do anything from him. Personally, I don't see any reason why he should be staying next season. One. One. Offered nothing. Mr. Sitter didn't press didn't inspire people, didn't encourage. You know, Costa, when he had a crap game, he still people went, we get the ball and we could do something all right. You know, we could, we, could, we could create something. He just has nothing like that at all. Nothing. He was awful today. <laughs> Chelsea never looked like scoring. And the one chance we did look like scoring, he yes. fucked up. He fucked up big time. Don't give him another contract. Don't bother. There's no point. He's done. He's over. He's finished. Um, and... <laughs> That's it. I, there's nothing more you can say. He's an annoyance. I don't like having him in the team. Um, he's got the ability to score goals because we've seen it, but he just doesn't do it enough. Nowhere near enough. Uh, uh, and a game like this today, you're thinking, oh, last one in the Premier League. He is on loan to us, so he is going to go back next year. He is going back. You're thinking, last game of play in the Premier League. Yeah, let's give it a bit, you know. I'm not going to play in Europa League final, but everyone knows they're going to play Giroud. Let's go and give it a bit. Last game in the Chelsea shirt. And he goes, fuck all. And it really pissed me off. It really, really did piss me off. So one, and I'll be honest with you, I think that's slightly generous. All right, let's roll through the subs quickly. Uh, Kovacic. Middle of the road, five, four, five. Not a lot. Eden Hazard, last game for it, potentially. It, I hate to say it, but I thought he was crap when he came on. Um, maybe not because of him. There was one chance that I, I pointed it out during the game. He had so much yeah. space. He had so much space. But the people around him just give him nothing to work with. And it's not his fault that I'm going to give him a poorer rating. Um, he it, come off the bench, to be fair. Yeah, he come off the But this, that's the thing. You're looking at other people. And, and, and this one thing I will say about Hazard. I love him to bits. I do. And I think he's a phenomenal player. And we have to keep him next year. I don't think we will. But do what he wants. A player like that coming off the bench should get every single man on the pitch going, shit, we need to deal with him. You know, we, he's, we've got to cause a problem. Hello, Louis. Hello, I'm not just listening. I'm, intri I'm intrigued. Hi. What's going on? Oh, uh, talking about Hazard. OK, go on. What, what? I like just player owns. OK. Uh, yeah. Six. Yeah. He, he, he came on, didn't do a lot. But to be, actually, no, seven. Because to be fair, he did have more impact on the game. But he didn't, he wasn't... Basically, he had an impact, but he didn't have the impact that he was brought on to have. Yeah, which yeah. was a goal. Yeah. Or, or, or some, or just, uh, we, goal. I was, I, we have already said that. I was saying to you, like, literally, if I was Hazard when he was warming up for copious amounts of time, I would literally just gone up to Surrey and gone, okay. we're nil-nil, last game of the season, just put me on. Like, it's literally... Put me on or I'm leaving. <laughs> I mean, that probably wouldn't work. Surrey would be like, I'm not in charge of the... Uh, yeah, the I'm not in charge of the transfers, yeah. Right, Stand. let's go on to the last player, Olivier Giroud. No impact Ten. whatsoever. Ten. He's sexy. He's, <laughs> he's my man. Yeah, that don't work for me still. He's, he's, the, he's, the, he's the most beautiful man in football. I think just for that, I give him a ten. I'm not even gay, no homo. Like, like you know, it's like, <laughs> it's anyone who is, you know, whatever floats your boat, but, you know, for, for Giroud, he's ten. It's gorgeous. As a real rating? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, at six or seven, he, again, he didn't, yeah, have, he didn't have much of an impact, really. Um, We're not uh, related, by the way. No. No, we're not. You guys think they are? Yes. Yeah, everyone does, apparently. Yeah. I'm the better looking one. I'm the taller one, more physically strong one. Oh, that's bullshit. I'm strong. Put a pole up about it. Yeah, <laughs> let's put a pole up. Oh, yeah, Drew. Crap. Uh, six. Done. No right. Uh, Maurizio Sarri, thoughts on him? <laughs> Did nothing. Didn't have to, to be honest with you. Leicester didn't bring on anyone that think they had to try and change the game. It was like for like subs nice. with both teams. Five. Four, five. Didn't have to do anything else. Five, six. Five, six. Five. Can we go to five? Five, five shake on it. Five. All right, Lars, let's go to the Chelsea fans. I thought that was the best away atmosphere this season. Uh, you're probably better on this because I don't go every away game. In terms of consistency, all the way from the first minute to the last. Yeah, that's mainly because we were just cheering when City was scoring yeah. and Liverpool won. <laughs> I, I just, I'd rather that than fuck Sarri ball for 90 minutes, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I, mm, to be honest, we had a, there was a few stuff which I thought was a bit, because it was the last game of the season, I thought people were trying to get away with it. 
So, for example, the Y word, oh, chant yeah. about Liverpool fans being murderers. Someone said, fuck the 96 behind us. Yeah. So, I mean, people were basically just treating it as an opportunity. And there goes that rating. Yeah. I mean, to be, to be honest, in, in terms of that, I'm not, I'm not going to judge a whole crowd on a, on a few idiots because that's not fair because that's exactly what Chelsea have had and other clubs have had. You get pointed fingers and Liverpool fans are, Chelsea fans are, um, United fans are. It's not, it's a couple of idiots. I think in general, just the, the, the bantery atmosphere, the way the atmosphere that was with the, the Leicester fans as well, that Six was good. or seven, I thought yeah, that, that was good. Was good actually, uh, to be yeah. honest, you know, I think in just general, I don't want to just do Chelsea fans atmosphere. I was give out atmosphere for the whole game, just for that 60th minute thing. Ten. That was that was yeah, amazing. It was that quality. was that was pure. That was just real pure. class, real real class. Right. Well, this has been your player reigns for Leicester City nil, Chelsea nil. The last Premier League game of the season. Let us, let us know whether you agree or disagree with any of the reigns down in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out all, all of our socials down in the description below as well. Don't forget to check out Ian's personal channel. Craigo28. Yes, Don't forget people. to check out Louis's personal channel. Yes, people. Louis Benevente, that one. There will be stuff on there now as well. Do you know that? Really? I'm actually putting stuff on there now. What's up? I don't know yet. I need to figure it out on Monday. Key trailer for that. Um, <laughs> don't forget to check out Carefree Louis G as well. And we will maybe see you in Baku. Maybe. 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 If maybe. we don't, we're going to have a flat party and get absolutely fucked while watching the game. Yeah, regardless, we're going to enjoy cams. it. <laughs> it's the last game of the season, just don't care. Drunk fan cams, I think, is the way forward for that one. No, not high fan cams. You're not doing it. I'm not letting it happen. Bye. <laughs>